Peace be upon you, my dear student. Welcome to be with you, Ms. Amal Maruf. In this session, we will talk about lesson three in unit one, which has title Scalar and Physical Quantities. Let's start. In this session, we will talk about some objectives. Number one, identify the concept of speed and the concept of velocity and to know the difference, the difference between speed and velocity. You will make a comparison between speed and velocity as the two examples of scalar and vector physical quantities. In previous part of this lesson, we took about two types of physical quantities. We know that the physical quantity, it is the quantity that can be measured. And also, we know that physical quantities can be classified into two types, scalar and the vector physical quantities. How can we differentiate between the two types? A scalar physical quantity, it is the physical quantity that can be defined by its magnitude and has no direction, as distance, time, mass, all of these examples of scalar physical quantities. While vector physical quantities, they are the physical quantities that can be defined by its magnitude and has direction. And also in previous session, we talked about the difference between distance and time, distance and displacement. What is the difference between them? Distance, it is the actual path covered by the moving object from the starting point to ending point, while displacement, it is the distance in certain direction. So, the meaning of average speed, it is the total distance covered by the object in one second or in unit time or in total time. Speed can be identified by magnitude only. So speed is a scalar physical quantity. Why is speed a scalar physical quantity? Because it can be defined by its magnitude and has no direction. So speed can be determined by the distance covered by the object in total time and has no direction from the starting point to ending point or from ending point to starting point, the same, because it can't be defined by any direction. From this, we conclude that speed is the total distance covered by the object divided total time or in unit time. But what is the meaning of velocity? In front of you, an object moves 30 meters in 30 seconds to north, after that, it moves to south or east direction by 60 meters in 20 seconds. After that, the object moves towards the south 30 meters in 10 seconds from A to D. The displacement covered by this object, displacement equal ED, Y, the certain direction of the distance from the starting point to ending point. So the displacement covered by this object from A to D. AD equal 60 meter. What is the direction of displacement? The direction of displacement in this case, AD, east direction or eastward direction. The displacement equal 60 meter in east, east direction. Total time covered by this object equal 30 second plus 20 second plus 10 second equal 60 second. To determine the velocity, velocity equal total distance divided by total time which is called average velocity. Average velocity equal displacement over time equal 60 over 60 equal one meter 
per second. What is the direction of velocity? The same direction of displacement. As the direction of displacement east direction, so the velocity in east direction, in east direction. The value of velocity equal one meter per second and has direction of displacement. As displacement in east direction, so velocity in east direction. What about the value of speed and the velocity? Which of them is greater than the other? Speed or velocity? Always speed must be greater than velocity. Why? Because speed is determined by distance. And we know that distance greater than is greater than displacement or equal. Distance may be equal displacement in only one case. When the object moves in a straight line. But when the object starts to motion from point and the end is motion with another point in, in another line, for example, curved line or broken line, so the distance covered by this object must be greater than the displacement. So in all cases, in all cases, the speed of the object must be greater than the velocity of the object as speed determined by distance, while velocity can be determined by displacement. If you have any question, please write your question on the chat and I will receive your question and answer them. From this point, we know the difference between speed and velocity. Speed, it is the total distance divided total time and they can be defined as average speed, while velocity can be determined by the displacement covered by the object in unit time or divided total time. Average velocity can be defined by it is the displacement covered by the object in one second, as speed equal the distance covered by the object in one second. What about the measuring unit of speed and the velocity? They have the same measuring unit, meter per second or kilometer per hour. Be careful. This measuring unit can be changed from one to another. To change from kilometer per hour to meter per second, we must multiply 5 over 18, as we know from lesson one. And the another measuring unit meter per second can be changed into kilometer per hour by multiplying 18 over 5. It is another definition of velocity. Velocity can be defined by the rate of a change of displacement. Where is unit time? In a state of unit time, we put rate. Rate means this change happens in unit time. Velocity can be identified by its magnitude and direction. Why? Because velocity can be defined by the displacement. As displacement has direction, so velocity has the same direction of displacement. Give reason. Velocity considered vector physical quantity. Why? Because it can be defined by magnitude and has direction. Notes. The measuring unit of velocity, as we talked about these measuring units, meter per second or kilometer per hour. The velocity is the speed, but in given direction. This means that the velocity becomes equal to speed when the speed has a specific direction as velocity. As the object moves in, yes, in a straight line or in certain direction. When the object moves in a straight line, so the distance equal displacement and the speed equal velocity. It is a very important question. When the velocity equals the speed, when the object moves in a straight line. Velocity is a vector physical quantity, so it can be determined or identified by its magnitude and has a specific direction. 
Now we have one question. What is meant by body covered 50 meter northward direction in five seconds? This question can be answered by the relation between two factors. What are these factors? 50 meter northward direction, it is the first physical quantity or it is the first factor. Number two, five seconds. 50 meter northward direction means this object covers distance or displacement. Yes, excellent. I can hear you. Displacement. Why? Because it has direction. In five seconds, it is the value of time. So there is two factors, displacement and the time. This means that this question can be answered by another physical quantity, which is velocity. This means that the velocity of this body equals 10 meter per second in northward direction. How can you determine the value of velocity? Velocity equal displacement over time equal 50 over 5 equal 10 meter per second in the same direction of its displacement, which has northward direction. Example. Example number one. In the opposite figure in front of you, a body covered 30 meters northward within 30 seconds. Then 40 meters to east direction within 20 seconds. And this stopped at point about 50 meters from the starting point. This object at rest in point that from 20, 50 meter from the starting point. As you see on in the picture, this object has a starting point. Then it moves the two towards the north, 30 meter. After that, it moves to east, 40 meter, and stop this motion at this point, which about 50 meter away from the starting point. He asked you to find the total distance moved by the body, average speed, displacement, average velocity. First, we must determine the total distance. How can we determine the total distance covered by this object? The total distance covered by this object or moved by the body, 30 meter plus 40 meter. Equal, the distance equal, 30 plus 40 equals 70 meters. Number two, average speed. To find the average speed, you must determine first total distance. Number two, total time. Where is the total time? In first case, this object to move towards the north direction in 30 seconds. After that, it takes 20 seconds to east direction. 30 plus 20 equal 50 seconds. Average speed equal total distance divided total time. Total distance equal 30 plus 40 over 30 plus 20 equal 1.4 meter per second. That is the average speed. To find the average speed, total distance divided total time. 70 over 50 equal 1.4 meter per second. Number three, displacement. Where is the displacement in this problem? The straight line or the shortest distance between the starting point and the ending point. The distance between the starting point and the ending point equal 50 meter. Where is the direction of the displacement? from the starting point to ending point. This direction is uh, north run east direction. North run east direction. Displacement equal 50 meter in north run east direction. Number four, find the average velocity. To find the average velocity equal total displacement or displacement divided total time. Displacement that can be determined from the third case, which equal 50 meter. Total time, we know that 30 plus 20. 
So 50 over to 30 plus 20 equal one meter per second. Yes, we have one conclusion. The speed, when the speed equal 1.4 meter per second and the velocity equal one, this means that the speed by which the object moves from starting point to ending point greater than is greater than the value of velocity covered by this object from the starting point to ending point. Another example. Be attention with me. In the opposite figure, a car starts its motion from point A to point F, passing by points P, C, D and E. Find number one, total distance. Number two, displacement. Number three, velocity. If you know that the total time spent by the car equals 0 0.033 hours. Yes, you can answer this example on the chat and I will receive your answer. You have one minute, please. Yes. Who can answer this example? Excellent. Total distance covered by the object from the starting point to ending point equal from A to B, after that B to C, after that from C to D, D E, P e, F. So the total distance equal 2 plus 5 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 equal 12 kilometer total distance. Displacement covered by this object. Where is the displacement? The displacement covered by the object distance between the starting point to ending point. This is straight line. AF. AF equal 5 minus 3. So the displacement equal 5 minus 3 equal 2 kilometer. Number 3. Velocity. If you know that the total time spent by the car equals 0 0.033 hour. As the distance is measured by kilometer, so the time must be measured by hour. There is no difference in the measuring unit. To find the velocity, you must know the displacement and time. So velocity equal displacement over time equal to over 0 0.033 equal 60.6 kilometer per hour. That is the velocity by which the car moved by it. Excellent, my dear student. What is the direction of this velocity from A to F? From A to F in east, west, in east, world direction. Yes, that's good. Another example. In front of you, in the opposite figure, if the object starts motion from point A, which covers 20 meter in 25 seconds. After that, this object moved to east by 40 meter in 45 seconds. Then to south, 20 meter in 25 seconds. After that, return is back to the start point by 40 meter in 45 seconds. He asked you to find the average speed and the velocity and give reason for your answer. To find the average speed, we must find the total distance covered by the object. The total distance equal 20 plus 40 plus 20 plus 40. 20 plus 40 plus 20 plus 40 total distance. A total time 25 plus 45 plus 25 plus 45 equal 0.86 meter per second. It is the average V. 
To find velocity, you must know the displacement. Where is the displacement zero? Why zero? Because the starting point is the ending point. So there is no displacement covered by this object. As displacement covered by this object equals zero, so the velocity equals zero. That is the reason for the result of velocity equal zero. As the starting point is the ending point. Excellent, my dear student. Now we have some quest question on this lesson. Choose the correct answer. Please think about this question. Answer them and write your answer on the chat and I will receive your answer. Choose the correct answer. In the opposite figure, an object is moving from point C to point M, passing by two points, D and F, in five seconds. So, number one, the covered distance by this object. How can you determine the covered distance by this object? To find the distance covered by the object, number one, eight. What happens after that? This object moves from D to F in circle. So the distance covered by the object equal half a circumference. Half multiply two by two divided two equal one. So the distance covered by this object from D to F equal by R. 22 over 7 multiply 7. 7 divided 7 equal 1. So the distance covered by this object from D to F equal 22. 8 plus 22. After that, this object covers another distance from F to M. From F to M, it covers 7 meter. 8 plus 22 plus 7 equal 8 plus 7, 15. Plus 22 equal 37 meter. The distance covered by this object equal 37 meter. Yes, excellent, my dear student. Another question at this point, the same figure. The object moves from C to M, passing by D and F and O, uh, F, F and D. He asked you to find the displacement. Where is the displacement? It is the distance between the starting point and ending point. From the starting point, to ending point, this means that from C to M. From C to N to M equal 8 meter plus this straight line or line segment. This line segment equal radius equal 7. So the displacement equal 8 plus 7 equal, yes, equal 15 meter. Where is the direction from C to M? That is the correct answer. 15 meters. The displacement covered by this object. Point in the same figure. He asked you to find the velocity as the time taken by the object equal 5 seconds. That is the total time. From the previous part, we know that the displacement covered by the object equal 15 meter. To find the velocity, velocity equal displacement over total time equal 5. 15 over 5 equal 3. So the velocity of this object 3 meter per second. That is the correct answer. Rather, but figure in front of you. Find the distance. In front of you, a graph. This graph has many values and represents a motion of an object. And this, in this 
object, they asked you to find the distance covered by the object. The distance covered by the object equal 12. How can we know the distance covered by the object equal 12? First, this object covers a distance from 0 to 6 meters. What happens after that? It covers the same distance from 6 to 0 again. So distance equal 6 plus 6 equal 12 meters. After that, what happens? We asked you to find the displacement covered by this object. To find the displacement covered by the object, we must know the starting point. The starting point at this point. The ending point at this point. In this case, the distance or the starting point is the same. So the displacement covered by this object equal zero. Again, in this problem, in front of you, a graph that represents the motion of object. This object starts motion from rest. After that, he covered a distance equal six meters. From two seconds to four seconds, this object at rest. After that, he returns back to the starting point. So the distance covered by this object equals 6 meter plus 6 meter equal 12. But the displacement covered by this object as its starting point is the same of ending point. So the displacement equal 0. It is a very important question. In the opposite figure, the ratio between the speed of the two objects A over LB approximately is. How can we solve this problem? In front of you, a graph that represents the motion of object. This graph between distance and time. Object number A start motion from zero to cover distance equal 3D at this point, equal 3D. Why? How can we know? Each square represent one, 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D. Each square on X axis represent one. One time, two time, three time, four time. The first object covers three distance in one time. The second object covers 3.5 distance in four time. To find the ratio between A and B, the speed of A and B, find the speed of A first. Speed of A equal distance divided total time, means equal 3D over 1T. V of A, object A equal 3D over 1T. Object number V, its speed equal three point five three point five D over forty. The ratio between them this means that V A over V B three D over 1t divided 3.5 d divided 40. We must change the divided into multiply 3d over 1t multiply 40. over 3.5. 3.5 means 7 over 2. D divided D equal 1. T divided T equal 1. 3 
by 4 equal to 12. And 2 multiply 3 equal 24. 24 over 7. 24 over 7 equal multiply 4. 4 divided 4. 3 multiply 2 over 7 equal 3d divided t multiply 4t over 3.5 equal 3.4 which of them approximately to 3.4 3.4 approximately equal 7 over 2 7 over 2 equal 3.5 approximately equal to 3.4. Pilots take in consideration the velocity of the wind. We must know the direction of wind and its speed in flying. Why? Because the direction of wind affects the velocity of the plane and the time of trip. When the, the plane move in the same direction of the wind, we must save fuel and it takes shorter time. So the direction of wind affects the velocity of the plane and the time of the trip and the amount of fuel consumed by this trip. The movement of wind arises from the difference of air pressure and different regions above the Earth's surface. Movement of Earth around itself from west to east affects the direction of wind, which affects the value of velocity of the plane. So we must know the direction and the value of the wind during trip. We have an application on this unit. The predator cheetah is one of the fastest animals as it is possible that its speed reach, reaches 27 meters per minute. The fastest animal is cheetah as its speed equal 27 meters per minute. In this session, we talked about some concepts, scalar physical quantities, and we know that scalar physical quantities the are the physical quantities can be defined by magnitude and has no direction. And we know that vector physical quantities, the are the physical quantities that can be defined by its magnitude and has direction. After that, we have two examples of scalar and the vector physical quantities, the difference between distance and time and the difference between speed and velocity. At the end of this session, thank you for listening with you, Ms. Amal Maruf, and we will meet together, inshallah, next Sunday. Good night and peace be upon you.